your light source, but do not trust any light other than the one that you hold in your own hand. Vanishing on 7th Street is available now on iTunes and on demand. This is the stuff that really scares me, you know, not, not, not like other movies where I feel like it's just, you know, I don't know, I feel it's kind of silly and ridiculous and you see it. This, this movie actually, when I read it, I was really creeped out and scared in my own house because it's things that you really think about. I mean, it's your own fear sometimes that scares you even more. Like, it's just... I exist! I exist! I exist! I always wanted to do a horror movie in a bar and I was trying to figure out how to do it without a monster. So essentially the idea of like non-existence itself as the entity felt sort of spooky. It's more like a chiller, it's not like a gore horror film. This is a movie which is, it's a meditation on death. And each of the characters represent the different stages of, of grief in many ways. That's basically what we're dealing with. It's the end, it's the end of life. Hey lady. You see, you see my baby. I don't know. My baby. I don't know. And every day the sun comes up later. Every day. More people just gone. The light. The light's protecting us. Something tuned in you. No bodies, no faces, only shadows. Oh my god. We have to stay in the light. We're gonna make it. Out there in the dark, no souls. For the last spin on the reel before it stops for good. I can't wait to see how creepy and scary this movie's gonna be. Magnolia Pictures presents Vanishing on 7th Street. Watch it now on iTunes and on demand before it's in theaters February 18th.